and I'm going to investigate what exactly went wrong. Or why not just go from the left to the right to do a full review of the cleanliness of my data. Year month, okay, looks clean, no weird values, no null values, etc. Year, okay, month, looks clean. Hmm, customer IDs, okay. Um, we here see that some customers have more rows, but it's perfectly possible. Some customers have bought once, some multiple times. But the thing that bugs me here is the fact that my customer ID, probably because of an export from region X, where the export always goes wrong. So what I can do now is just clean my customer ID before I continue. How do we do that? If I click on customer ID, I can choose to create a uh, calculated field. And I'm going to give it the exact same name. Oh, no, let me not give it the same name. I'm going to give it a new name so you can see the difference. What you can do in Tableau is use the replace function, for example, to do a cleaning step. So what we're going to do right now is, as you can see, the little hyphen symbols in front of my customer IDs. I don't know how they got there, but they're ruining my data. So I'm going to replace it. So what I'm doing, I'm going to tell Tableau Prep, so for the Zoom, replace this little symbol by nothing. I'm going to click apply and save. Where did it go? I normally should have two times customer ID now. Let me put them next to each other. So there they are. Where were the, the bad ones? At least you can see where it had the hyphen in front of the customer number here. We now nicely have a cleaned column where uh, we replaced it. We don't need this column anymore, actually, so I'm just going to remove it from my flow. Let me scroll down through product, uh, customer ID, my apologies, and it looks okay at first sight. Cool. Next up, the actual product. Hmm, I have this three rows which don't have a value for product. Nah, I'm not going to keep them in my, in my analysis. I'm going to remove them. You don't need to go via the filter and then say, if is null, then no, you can just, you could do it that way, of course. You can simply click on, uh, right click on the null and say, I am going to exclude the rows which have a null value for product. So there I go. I click exclude and it automatically adapts the preview. I have this weird value, which has five, four, six, I don't know what it is. It can be a test record, which I also want to exclude. But imagine this case that it's actually also a product A. So I can just double click on it, turn it into A, and as you can see, it groups with A and my data is clean. Then, the price of my products. If you're a company uh, with business all over the world, you might have not only different notations, but also different currencies. Now, this is the assumption that in the prices column, we're all looking at the prices in dollars. However, we see, and let me zoom in a little bit, that in one of the exports, the dollar symbol uh, was taking, was loaded into Tableau Prep, whereas all the other exports didn't have the dollar sign in there. Again, just for getting a grip on it, how can we do it? We can create a calculated field where we say replace the dollar sign with nothing. I'm going to call it price cleaned. Click apply. I'm going to drag it next to my original pricing. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, let me zoom in a little bit. I have removed the dollar symbol. 
Now, cleaning data can be done in two ways, or you can write a formula for it using the create calculated fields, but do know that Tableau Prep out of the box has quite some functionalities for cleaning data. So I'm gonna remove this, um, and I'm gonna click it, and I'm going to set to clean. So if, I, don't, I think the dollar sign is considered a letter, I can just go clean, remove letter. No, it doesn't recognize the dollar sign. Is. But the thing I want to mention is that you can do a lot of transformations, make it uppercase, make it lowercase. For example, if I want to, and let me drag my country field here, I can uppercase it by simply going to clean, make uppercase. There we go, my countries are uppercased. I can easily make them all lowercase what they were. So um, I can also remove the spaces, trim it, uh, remove punctuation, etc., etc. All these things, which in other software you might need to type a formula for, just out of the box, you can clean uh, your columns by using this. All right. Then, is my data fully cleaned? Um, okay, my price, I removed it. Let me quickly do it again. So, price cleaned. I'm going to refer to price and say if you find a dollar symbol, replace it with nothing. Save. put them next to each other and I get rid of the original column and I remove it. 